One of the cautions that has to be taken when simulating a turn short in a winding is that uh, a lot of uh, form on windings, uh, let alone also uh, low voltage windings, have more than one what's called wire in hand per turn. And so, for instance, in the case of this coil, if I were to drill a hole here and here to simulate a turn to turn short, what I really have is a short between two conductors of the same conductor or two wires of the same conductor, therefore not a turn to turn short. Keeping with that, let's take a look at a couple of different uh, coils. For instance, this one here, four conductors per turn. As you can see, um, where the conductor comes into the coil, uh, those are lined up next to each other. Also note how much insulation is between each conductor uh, in each turn. So I've got one conductor coming in, two, three, four conductors basically. Uh, each conductor has four wires in hand. See that also with this one here, this coil here, you can see the large conductors, the amount of insulation in between each conductor. Um, the type that we're looking at in 500 is similar to a coil like this one here, where I have wire on top of wire. Um, we already have the data on that GE, so we know the conductors are a little bit uh, larger than what this is not rectangular, but this is more ribbon wire. Um, so in order to simulate a short, we drilled in the top of the coil and then about where the next turn was going to be. So that would simulate a direct turn to turn short. Uh, let's see. Also, we're dealing with is got several wires in hand. Again, I want to note that you can see the amount of insulation between turns uh, in a conductor. On this 500 horsepower stator, we're first going to do a, um, I'll test four um, without any short, and then we're going to follow it with the Agilent uh, LCR meter without any short, and then we're going to introduce the turn to turn short in a single coil. So the auto mode here, short the leads together. Okay, connect to winding one. There's only three leads on this motor. It's a stator only. Okay, first set of readings. Okay, let's connect to the second winding. Repeat the measurements. Okay, got our reading straight across, uh, 214, 215, 214, 88, 88, and 88 degrees, uh, 214, 215, 214 is impedance, um, that's, uh, we're not going to do an insulation test, uh, 49 straight across is uh, current frequency, 42 is in millihenries of inductance. Okay, so now, um, just to keep this simple, we're going to go ahead and introduce the short. This will be the turn to turn short. Go ahead. Go ahead, Larry. Hey. Hey. 
Okay, and in this case with the turn to turn short, we are going to follow the same pattern, same coils or same leads. Okay, second one. Again, now we got 214, 198, 213. We have 88, 87, and 88, so it changed by a digit. Uh, 42, 39, 42 in inductance, minus 49 straight across. Now, without stopping anything, but undo the short. Let's go ahead and use the agilent. meter and we're going to use the phase angle Eighty-seven point nine, eighty-seven point eight. So let's go ahead and introduce the short. Seven point seven, eighty seven point six, and eighty seven point eight. So on the LCR meter, we do not see a change in phase angle like we did on the other. That's it.